Hello and welcome back to more Famicom Detective Club, the girl who stands behind, where that last time we did some things, by which I mean we ran around the same three rooms as always, and we learned approximately diddly do. so uh, hopefully today we'll learn something. It looks like classes are still in session. I can't go to the faculty room until school's over. The fact that you can go to the faculty lounge at all is interesting, but it's fine. It's fine, okay. So where can we go? Uh, I'll speak to Tazaki first. Ah uh, yes, Tazaki's our prime suspect. He probably won't be the killer because, you know, it's too blatantly obvious. And by, by which I mean not, I don't, what I, what I mean by that is I don't say, I, oh, I'm sorry, when I say that I don't mean that it's too obvious for the player. I mean it's too obvious for the, oh Jesus Christ, why are you so close to the camera? So like for instance, Amachi in the last game was really obvious for the player, as in like, you can play the game and immediately be like, you're probably the, you're probably like gonna betray me at some point. Uh, but the characters in the game, uh, obviously, like, they don't suspect, so there's a difference between who you suspect as the, as the player and who the characters suspect, and almost always, whoever the player, whoever the characters suspect is not gonna be the person who actually did the thing that they're accusing you of, or the, the, that they're accusing them of. Uh, so, like, for instance, you as the player, like, like I said, can acknowledge that Amachi is the, 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 the traitor, the killer, but the characters are like, nah, Amachi's cool, he's our, he's our best friend in the whole wide world. So that immediately is like okay, so it's gonna be him then, because no one no one suspects him, so it's him. Uh, is, is how is how these kind of classic mysteries typically work. Um, but so and and how that applies to Tazaki is everyone suspects him. So while he may have something shady going on, he's definitely not gonna end up being the killer because that'd be too obvious. There wouldn't be any any neat little twist at the end to uh, to to catch you off guard with. You again, leave me alone. Unfortunately, I have a mystery to solve, so I can't really do that. Mister Tazaki, I believe you're familiar with the Kaneda case. That's a solid yes. If you have nothing to hide in a solid alibi, surely you wouldn't mind answering a few of my questions. Well, I mean, as we learned previously, everyone in this universe has major problems with with asking questions because no one understands how anything works in this universe, but it's fine. Oh, good lord, we have so much to talk about. Okay, well, I guess we'll do, let's try to keep things focused on what he would actually care about. Uh, on the night of Kaneda's death, you were repairing a wall. Was it well, the wall in the old school building? Yes, that night. I remember that the principal had asked me to, so I went and fixed it from 9 p.m. to 12 a.m. Okay, uh, how about everyone else that was involved in that case? Okay, okay, yes, I borrowed money from him. He was a bad man, but, 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 but I'm not a murderer, you gotta believe me. D don't worry, I, I believe you. I have full faith in your innocence. The characters may not, but they, they, they will have faith soon enough. And the principal backed up your alibi, correct? That's right, while I was working on, my, on the wall, he came and checked in on me. He was my witness. That's enough. I told you the truth. Now get out. Like, obviously he seems suspicious, but the fact that they're making him so suspicious makes you feel like, yeah, you're probably okay. You're probably okay. I'm only allowed to speak with teachers after school. Can I not? Okay, fine. We'll, we'll just, I guess we'll get out of here. We, we, we've got everything we can out of you, so we just have to wait for the clock to tick down. It's quiet when everyone's in class. What an astute observation. Okay, is there anything that I can do? Because talking to him isn't going to do anything. Is there anything nearby that I can... Oh, hi, you didn't exist a minute ago. Uh, you did not exist a minute ago. An old man walked by, maybe I can talk to him. Yeah, sure, I just talked to the random old man that just happened to stumble in front of the school. Sure, why not? Excuse me. Hmm? Huh? Is something the matter? What could you possibly want from an old geezer like me? I just... Let's... I... Well... I don't, I don't know. I gotta be honest. I don't know. But it, clearly the game wants something to do with you. So let's see what what the purpose of this one is. Um, he's the janitor. He looks rough around the ages. But he's actually quite nice. And uh, jury's still out on that one. Jury is very much still out on that one. Uh, I, guess we, I guess we'll just ask him about everything. Uh, he's a respectable man. Only heard good things about him. And handsome too. Like a movie star. Yeah, uh -huh, okay. Uh, how about the case in general? There was something like that back then, yes, but I don't remember anything. My memory isn't what it used to be. Okay, do you know anything? What What is the point of this conversation? Oh, but someone asked me about the Kinetic case a while back. Oh, did they now? Did someone ask you about the Kinetic case? Was their name Yoko? What? Is that true? Maybe not. I might just be imagining things. Well, <laughs> which is it? Yeah, it's kind of an important detail to make. Or important distinction to make. Did you remember or did it happen or did it not? Can I get going then? But then you, you can't just drop that bombshell on me. I, okay, fine. I, you want to go? Fine. I don't want to piss him off. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. You you can't just drop that bombshell on me and then walk the hell away. Yeah, he's, wow, okay. That was a that was a conversation that we just had. Okay. <sighs> we can go to the old school building, I guess. So maybe there's something here that we can examine. Like, maybe we can check up on the alibi by 
examining the actual wall itself. Uh, nobody's around. What an astute observation. Uh, okay, let's check let's check the wall if we can. There we go. Check the let's check the wall. Uh, this is the wall that, that proves Tazaki's alibi 15 years ago. I feel like that wall is hiding some sort of secret. You want to think about what secret that may be? But why did Tazaki repair the wall so late? So late at night? Incident from November 10, 15 years ago. 9 p.m. Tazaki starts repairing the wall. On the night of the incident, Tazaki, for whatever reason, began repairing the wall at 9 p.m. and kept working until midnight. Principal Arabe uh, witnessed and confirmed his progress. Tazaki Futsuki was right. Something about this smells fishy. I need to speak with Principal Arabe, but classes are still in session. Yeah, well, patience is a virtue, my friend. Um, I, you can try to call him over. It's not going to do anything. Let's just... What am I... I guess we can try going back to the janitor's room. But it, if we recall talking to him last time, then he's going to get us anywhere. No response. It doesn't seem to be locked. Mr. Zaki, are you in here? Oh, yeah, sure. Let's... Sure, let, let's roam around while he's not home. What could possibly go wrong with this ingenious plan? Um, well, I guess we can check the bag back there. Because I, I see that bag back there. What's What are we going to find? What mysterious secrets are we going to find inside this bag? Uh, a bag was left here. Take You want to take the bag? You want to take the bag? Surely we're not actually going to do that. No, sure. Okay, good. I was about to say. No way. No way the game actually lets me take this bag away. Because if so, I, that'd be like, oh boy. Hey, you, get away from the camera! What are you doing? Why are you so goddamn close to the camera every single time? What are you doing? So you think I'm suspicious after all, don't you? I, I don't. I was trying to see if the game would actually let me do something like, I don't know, take someone else's property. Go, get out of here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Look, I don't think you're the, you're guilty, but you're making it really hard to like you. It's unbelievable. I, I, okay, so well, I, I guess I should clarify before, before. Let me clarify real quick. Uh, yes, what we did is wrong. Yeah, I, in fact, I actually said before, like y the game is not gonna let me literally steal this man's property. Like that, obviously, that's a wrong. That's a bad thing to do. Uh, very much incorrect. Like the, the don't. That's not good. I'm. I'm. I would have been stunned if the game actually let me pull that off because that would have been like I would have been like, oh my god, what is wrong with this person? If, if that actually happened. On the other hand, on the other hand of things, he's still a little prick, and you just, you just, he's just like unable to be liked. Essentially, I, I don't, I, I do not like this man. This man is very much the op the opposite of a nice person. Is what this man is. Like if you look at the, if you look in the, at the source and you go to the antonym section of nice, this man, you'll see there's a picture of this man. This is unbelievable. If you don't leave, I will. What? What? This is your room. What do you mean, if you don't leave, I will? This is your room. What? If, if, if you, okay, if you leave and I don't, then that's no different than what happened a minute ago. Where I was in here rummaging through your belongings. What? What? Okay, this, this is like if you come... To, okay, this is like if you come home, and, and there's some burglars robbing your home, okay? And then you, you tell the burglar, Hey, get out of this house, or I'll leave this house. If, if you were the burglar, you'd just be like, I, Okay, I guess we'll stay here then. Like, What? What what was that dialogue? What? I, okay, I am I, I am I am beyond confused by what is happening in this game anymore. This is mm, boy. Oh, it's the bell. I guess classes are done for the day. Just like that. Apparently. Okay. Well, I guess now. Is there anything else to think about before we go to the faculty lounge? Uh, come to think of it, Hayama said that nobody was in school that night. But if Tazaki's ally is true, then he and Principal Arabe were at the school too. That said, you wouldn't see Tazaki unless you walked right by here. I don't know why she would have taken taken the long routes just. Excuse me, just to walk through here. Okay, well, that was worthless. Uh, let's finally go to the faculty lounge. I, I still can't believe we're actually allowed in there. That Usually, usually this is that, that those lounges are supposed to be for, you know, faculty, teachers only. Students aren't allowed in, but I guess uh, this school works a bit differently. I mean, I guess to be fair, I'm a, like, I'm a detective in this universe, so it makes sense. I guess that I'd be allowed, for, I mean, I don't know, even that might be a bit of a stretch, but I, I, can, I can at least believe that he'd be able to go in here. But a Yumi, I don't know if a Yumi would be allowed in here as just a regular student. Mm -hmm, it's a bit of a stretch. Okay, well, hey you, um, can we chat up for a second? Which class are you from? Oh, you're Mr. Detective. Spoken as if students coming in here is totally normal. But uh, since we're here, let's just start talking. It's also unfortunate. Mr. Detective, please do your best for Yoko's sake. I'm doing what I can, but it's taken me a long time to get anywhere because this game is a slog. Just because of how it's structured. Alright, sorry Mr. Detective, I'll go into more detail about that at the end of the episode. Not that I haven't gotten into it before, but still. Alright, I guess I should talk about the thing that he actually wants me to talk about. 
Uh, he's already gone home. Well, that's just wonderful. How? School School just got out. How could she already? Okay. She left already? Ha, gotcha. I'm kidding. Okay. That, that, what, what, a, what a worthless thing to say. Why did you say that in the first place if she's still here? Why would you lie about this? That it makes no sense. Like, he just immediately doubled back on himself. What was the point? You, 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 realize you're, you realize you're talking to a detective, right? Someone who's investigating a murder? Maybe not the best time for cracking them funny jokes. But what do I know, am I right? All right, well, you, while I have you on the on the line, I am an ear. It's an eerie rumor. I've also heard. I also heard this one. Oh, great, another one. More ancient rumors. When playing games alone at night, you hear a voice calling out from behind you. When you turn around, do your homework. It's your mother scolding you. Why? Well, funny, right? Uh, I think it's one of my best. Who, who taught? You? Okay, I'm gonna give you some really, really important life advice. I, I cause like I, I don't hate you right now anyway. I don't hate you. So I'm gonna give you some really, really important life advice. Never ever in your life become a stand-up comedian. Don't do it. It's not for you. You I I've I've met literal rocks that are funnier than you. What what are you trying to what does this man realize he's talking to a detective, a homicide detective? Does he realize that this is no laughing matter here? Like what are you what are you doing? Ugh, that's stupid. Ha, ah, what? I'm not funny. What is this insane revelation? Ay, 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 okay. Well, that was worthless. You, can I go through a single one of these dialogue options without getting a stupid joke shoved in my face? Huh? What about Mr. Tazaki? Uh, come to think of it, he seems pretty jittery these days. I wonder what's going on with him. Jittery, huh? Yeah, why don't you go tell him some jokes? Maybe maybe that'll cheer him up. He said with a, with a sarcastic tone. Uh... Too bad, he just left. Just I'm telling you this stuff. No, you, I... Yeah, uh-huh. You, you ever heard the story of the boy who cried wolf? Sorry, boy who cried wolf? Principal of the already has left already. I... You... Hey, what? Remember... <clears throat> yeah, sure, because I'm going to believe you this time. Nice try, buddy. I'm not believing that. How would you describe Principal Arabe? Principal Arabe seems like he's a great guy, but those who know him well know he's got a dark side. Dark side? I'm just kidding. He's such a no. Oh my God! What is? What are you doing? What is this? You. Okay. If I were this detective, I at this point I'd, I'd have been, I'd have been fed up with him. I'd have been like, buddy, you are talking. Obviously, I would have said it in a more professional manner. But what, what the gist would be, buddy, you're talking to him. You're talking to the murder police. You're talking to a man who's here specifically to investigate the death of one of your students. Maybe not the best time to be cracking them funny jokes. But you know, you do you, I suppose. He's kind, empathetic, and most of all, strong-willed. Not to mention he's as handsome as a movie star. The principal is a genuine educator, I'd say. I, I mean, principals don't typically educate people in anything, but, you know, you do you, okay. Okay, can I talk to literally anybody else? A anybody other than him? Oh, here she is now. Hey, Miss Hayama, Mr. Detective's looking for you. Um, no, I'm looking for anybody that's not him at the moment. Literally anybody. I'll, I'll take, I'll take, I'll, like I said, I'll, I, I'd, I'd rather talk to a squirrel at this point. Just, just go find a random squirrel. I'd rather talk to the squirrel than that prick. Why did you come here? Uh, it's, I'm sorry, I really need to confirm something with you. I see. Alright, well, let's get straight to... Wait, I can examine... Why can I look slash examine her? That, well, great, that was worthless. Good to know. Uh... That, okay, that didn't do anything, apparently. Uh, can we talk to... The girl of the Legend? Ghosts don't exist for real. Huh, but I thought... Okay, that's- that's peculiar. That's- that's a little strange. That's- that's- um, I don't know if I like that. Look- pay attention to the man in the background. Miss- Mr- Mr. Fell Comedian over there. Pay attention to him whenever I, t I talk to her about something. W w watch closely. He turns his head. Every time I try to talk to her, he turns his head like he's- like he's listening in on what we're saying. Like he wants to hear if we say anything that might uh, put him at risk. And it also seems like Kayama might be a little bit afraid to talk because her eyes keep glancing in that direction. I wonder if he's, she's like afraid. Hmm. I needed to ask you something, Miss Hayama. Right. I see. It seems like something's on her mind. Okay. Well, can we? <laughs> do, maybe I need. Do I need to? Do, 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 we, do we need to call over the other teacher because he keeps glancing over his shoulder? Like what? What? what what's the deal here? What is it, Mr. Detective? Why do you keep Why do you keep creeping on me by glancing over your your, your shoulder? Did you have something to ask me, Miss Hayama? 
Uh, you don't seem to be getting much done, though. Yeah, because you, she doesn't tell me anything because she keeps glancing over her shoulder at you. Give me a break. I can't, I can't just eavesdrop all day. I... <clears throat> yeah, sure. Admit to that. That won't make you suspicious at all. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. That didn't get us anywhere. I... What... What, 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 what are we doing here? What, what's the goal here? What, what are we trying to... Can you... I find the hangout. No, I'm trying to get information out of you, but you're not talking. You're not talking. I already told you I can't be of any help to you. Then why did... Okay, do I have to think of a way out of this situation? Right, Hayama won't talk if there are other people around. We'll have to talk somewhere secluded. It, okay, why didn't we... I, I, I could have told you that. I told you that. I told you that immediately. I, the, the second she, the second that he started glancing over his shoulder and she kept glancing over towards him, I told you immediately, like, hey, maybe we should, maybe she can't talk because she's worried about other people being around. Or specifically, specifically it could even be specifically that he isn't the, per is the person she doesn't want to talk to, uh, talk around. But it took you, like, six dialogue options and one call, and, like, two call engaged back and forth to figure out, oh, she wants to be alone. Like, I see, you see what I mean about the game being behind the player? Like, the player notices these things early, and then you just, you're forced to just slog through the rest of it. It's very frustrating. Okay, well, I guess we can't... I guess we have to go somewhere else. Can we, um, go to the old school building? Because there's too many people around here to talk. So we'll go... We'll go here to talk. Nobody's around. Which makes it the perfect time. Did she not come with me? Did... Did she not... Is she not around? I thought she would have... People probably won't come over here. I probably talk to. Okay, do, do, I, do, I, really have, do I, I really have to call or engage her over here? Really? Go, I'll go get. I'll give a sign. She didn't come with you. Really? You, I. This gameplay system really annoys me. Why didn't she just come with this? Oh my god. Okay. This is this is annoying. Uh. Well, now that you're finally over here, let's let's talk about the wall. Oh, this wall? Excuse me. Uh, Mr. Zaki plastered it. Mr. Zaki plastered this wall 15 years ago on the night of the incident. What? Oh, I guess so. You're you're probably right. So I was right. Uh, let's ask about him. Lately, he's been acting strange. Maybe it's because I said that he was arguing with Miss Kojima. There wasn't anything going on with Miss Kojima, right? I haven't been able to ask him. And finally, since you brought it up yesterday, you're concerned that Mr. Z Mr. Tazaki plastered this wall on the same night that you saw the girl who stands behind. Yes, that's right. Th that night when I saw the girl who stands behind and was running away, I was so shaken. And before I knew it, I somehow ended up here by the old school building. Really? I was in such a rush, I lost one of my shoes here. But I was too scared to search for it, so I just went straight home. The next day when I came here uh, looking for my shoe, the wall was nicely plastered. The wall was still collapsed when I saw it the night before, so Mr. Tazaki must have plastered it that night. Are you sure that you passed by here? Yes, sometime after 10 p.m. Hey, whoa, hey, whoa, 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 no, 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 you can, no, 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 you, you can go fuck off now, buddy. No, get the hell out of here. No, that's, that is insanely creepy. That is insanely creepy, Jesus Christ. Look at that guy. Look, okay, if you don't see what I'm talking about, look at the center of the screen. There's some random creep. Just leering around the corner like some kind of asshole. Holy hell, that is creepy as all hell. Jesus Christ, did you see him? I never saw- No, 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 not, not him. The, the guy back there. Back there. Back there. Someone's watching us. You, you, you don't say, buddy. Holy hell, that is creepy as all hell. Who's there? Yo, uh, what a what a shocker. Hey, that was- That was Mr. Tazaki, wait. Oh, golly gee whiz, I'm so surprised. He's definitely came this way, but now he's gone. I did, how did how did that happen? How did you lose him that quickly? Hey, you guys, did you see Mr. Tazaki? Huh? Mr. Tazaki just ran out of here. He got away. How did that happen? He 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 cannot be that. He can't be that spry and quick for for a sixty year old man. How could you? How did he get away from you? Tazaki disappeared. I thought maybe I could hit him off at this apartment, but he's not here. I messed up. I can't believe I let the suspect get away from me. Yeah, I can't believe it either. How did that happen? Like, actually, how did that happen? I... Okay. Okay. You do you, I suppose. Hello. Hey, Yumi, what are you doing here so late? Well, come on in. Okay. It's... it's I feel like Yumi's... Despite being on the cover of the game, she's 
very tangentially important to it. Like, she doesn't seem like she's directly involved with the action. She's just kind of like, every once in a while, she pops. It's, it's, it's like whack-a-mole. Like, she, she keeps popping up every now and again. You have to, like, whack, play whack-a-mole until she disappears for a bit and then, come, then pops back up again. It's kind of bizarre. Uh, as to like, because you'd think that someone who's on the cover of the game would have a bit more significance to it. I wonder what's wrong. She seems to be deep in thought. Okay, can we talk to her? What's wrong? You look down. Trevor, please tell me, did Mr. Tazaki kill Yoko? I don't, I don't believe so. I do not, I genu I do not genuinely believe that. If that's true, I... You may don't, I don't know why you heard that, but you can't get involved in this case. Because why would we want the character who's on the, p the cover of the game to be involved in investigating it? That makes no sense. No buts, if you end up like Yoko... Yeah, that's... I Yeah, way to scare... Way to scare her into Jesus Christ. Really? Of all the things to say, you picked that? Really? Okay, you need to think some more. Oh, good lord almighty. I went too far. Okay, let's switch gears. Uh, you mean I'm gonna make some coffee. Would you like any? And, and uh, Ladies and gentlemen, and the award for the worst segue of all time goes to... Myself, I guess. Oh, thanks. Wow, I can't wait to taste your coffee, Ayumi. I d okay. This what is I? It smells good, better than I better than when I brew it. Ah, funny. <laughs> Comedy gold. I, I you're taking too many pointers from that creep in the teacher's lounge. Even from behind, I can tell she's upset, but I just can't get you involved in this, Ayumi. Yeah, why would we want the person on the cover of the game to be involved in anything? That makes so that makes too much sense. Here you go. Take the coffee. All right, we're taking the coffee. We are taking the coffee. <sighs> Smells great, and it tastes so much better than when I make it. Yeah, you already used that line, and it failed the first time, so I don't know why you tried it again. By the way, Yumi, about what we talked about earlier. Huh? I feel funny. Yumi, what? No. Jeffrey, I'm sorry. Whoa. What? 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 Wait, 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 wait. You did what? You drugged me? What? Wait, why did that happen? Like, yeah, he was an asshole for being like, eh, you're gonna die if you investigate. Like, yeah, he scared you. Uh, he, like, he mortally like, terrified you. But you didn't need to drug me. He was he was investigating the murder of Yoko Kojima. Yeah, I, I get it. Dude, why do we need a recap? What's the what? What are we doing here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get it. Wait, what, 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 what is happening? What is happening? What? What just hap- what just happened? I am so confused right now. What the hell just happened? What- I- my- my brain. My brain. What is this? What is this? This is from Trevor's sight. Yeah, I, yeah, because my character is an idiot who can't chase down a 60-year-old man. And now all pursuing desire for something has happened to Trevor. What the- I'm sorry. Why would you even do this? What the hell? What? I I it, what? I I I I I I, 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 I am dumbfounded. By what just happened? The phone's ringing. The phone. No, no, you can't end there. What is this? What just happened? If you were to describe to me what happened there, could you do it? Could you explain to me what just happened there? Because I, I don't think you could. You, okay, so she, she, so she, drugged me. Because, I'm assuming it's because she wants to be able to investigate on her own. But she didn't need to drug me to do that. She could have just gone out to investigate on her own. Why did she... I am so confused. I am so lost. Okay. The, I, the, we need to learn more about what's happening. Oh, that'll be for now. Thanks for watching. Stay for next time. Oh, wait. I guess I should mention real quick. Uh, the reason why I said earlier about how... Uh, what I was talking about earlier is just like this... Like, so much of this episode was wasted because, like, we, we literally just had to burn down the clock and waste time walking around places, learning nothing until time ran out. So much of this game just feels, like, artificially padded and drawn out with conversations that don't lead anywhere. Um, and really esoteric ways to get around things. Just, like, the 
the the dialogue system and the movement mechanics really show its age or show their age with this but yeah uh, that'll be for now thanks for watching stay tuned for this catch you all uh later uh, this week at some point for more fam content it's called the girl stands behind goodbye